Okay, I, I'm going to assume I'm live. It says I'm live. So I'm just going to give it a second to make sure that this is all working and that I can see comments. So if you're popping on, please do say hello. Just uh, drop a comment for me so that I know that everything is working. Also, let me know if you can see me and hear me okay. Hello, Andra. Hello, Sonia. This is awesome. Okay, so I am using this StreamYard software for the third time ever, and I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with it all. So I apologize for the shadow. I still kind of have to get my setup um sorted but hopefully you can see me yeah i'm not quite sure what to do with the light there's a little bit of a shadow here and i'm not quite sure what to do but i don't want to play with anything to kind of mess it up so hello good evening everyone thank you for confirming that you can see me and hear me i'm zara premji i am an independent stampin up demonstrator from markham ontario canada and this is your weekly wednesday crafting happy hour so every wednesday around 8 30 p.m eastern i come on here on facebook and now on youtube to do a live where i share some crafting inspiration we do a little bit of chatter um, and hopefully what you see inspires you to get crafting so I always say or I often say that when I very first started crafting I really um, actually wasn't creative and I just really needed an outlet so I wouldn't have called myself creative I was just a super busy mom with kids and a full-time job and um, you know a family to take care of and just all sorts of responsibilities and things that just consumed a lot of time and so when I was invited to a card making workshop I really just wanted to go for the outing and the outlet uh, I really didn't expect to actually like it and it turns out that it was way easier than I expected didn't need any creativity um, I loved what I made and I loved the feeling that it gave me to make something with my hands that I thought was super pretty and then um, to be able to gift that to somebody else was just kind of like uh, it just just made me feel super happy and joyful. So that has grown. I have been a demonstrator for almost nine years. March will be nine years. And I have loved every minute of it. And uh, it's something that's so important to me that I will make sure that I carve time out in my uh, busy life for it. So even when things are um, crazy busy and we've got lots going on in our family and at home, um, I still always make time for paper crafting because it gives me um, it gives me joy. Okay, I'm just looking at the comments. Hello, Nicole. Hello, Shirley. Hello, Margaret Ann. Alana, nice to see your name pop up. Bonsoir, Julie. Hello, Janice Keels. Heather Parsons is watching on YouTube tonight and instead of Facebook. Heather, you'll have to tell me if there's any difference on YouTube. Um, I'm, I've been doing Facebook for so long that I have no idea what it's like on YouTube, but thank you for watching and letting me know that it's all working okay. Thank you, Shirley. Um, so it's great because I can actually see all the comments that are coming in from YouTube and from Facebook. And within StreamYard, it shows me where the comment is coming from. So I actually could see there's a little icon next to Heather's name that shows that she's watching on YouTube. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking today. Oh, you know what I realized? I had the big screen on my hands the whole time and I have the opportunity to flip. So um, I'll do this just for a second now because I'm going to flip it back to my hands, but I'll tell you first what we're going to do. I'm going to be good evening, Laurel. Thank you for joining. So I can finally show you the inside of this catalog. Okay. Both of these catalogs, both our January to June, 2022 mini and our celebration brochures went live yesterday, January 4th. And so now we can actually go through the inside of the catalog. I can show you some different card making ideas, um, highlight some of my favorite products. And then at the very end, not the end, but after we've gone through and done a catalog walkthrough, I'm going to actually create a card using one of our new products from the celebration brochure. Um, and one of the things that I wanted to mention to you is beginning this week, I'm actually going to be sending to my email subscribers one new project per week featuring the celebration products. So if you are not already on my mailing list, 
you go to, oh, do I have this as a banner here? No, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. So go to zarapremji.com and there is a link there to join my email list. So you will want to do that because I'm going to be sending a tutorial each week for a new project featuring a celebration product. So that way you'll get a little bit of inspiration, but you'll also get kind of like a step-by-step -step showing you how to actually make the card, including measurements, photos, um, all the things so that if you want to recreate the card, you can do that. Now, everything that I'm going to be showing you tonight is available either in our mini catalog or in our celebration brochure. Um, and also like the, the tools and supplies, so our cardstock and adhesive and things like that are all available on my online store. So if you um, decide you'd like to order anything, please go ahead and place your order in my online store. You can get that link at zarapremg.com. And if you use this host code, you will get an extra gift from me. So you will get a free embellishment from me, which will mail out by the 15th of February. So what I do is I get, wait till all the orders are in for the month of January, and then I use my host rewards to purchase gifts, and then I will send those out to you by February 15th. So I haven't always, I mean, I have uh, in the last few months had lots going on, but this, this year I'm going to try and stay really consistent with mailing those out by the 15th. And so that way um, you'll get some extra goodies and a reusable handmade card from me as a thank you for your order. So without further ado, I am going to flip the screen and we are going to do a little walkthrough first of our mini catalog. Now, um, last time, did someone did comment that there was a little bit of blurring and it would go out of focus and then back in focus. So if you have any trouble with the um, the focus, just let me know and I'll, I don't know what I would be able to do, but at least I know so that I can troubleshoot next time. Okay, so this is our January to June mini catalog. This, um, we have three catalogs that release every year. One is in January, one is in, it used to be June and now it's May. And then we have our holiday catalog that comes out in July, I believe it is of this year. So the items in our mini catalog are all are while supplies last. So while it says January to June, if some of the items sell out sooner and we can't get them back in, then they're gone for good. So there's sort of like a bracket around the June 2022 because sometimes our products do go out of stock and you can't get them. And I say that because if there is th are things that you love in here and things that you're like, I absolutely need that stamp set or I absolutely need that paper, then I would encourage you to not wait to get it because especially right now with um, shipping delays and um, all the crises that are happening because of COVID, um, it, there's just no guarantee and we have had some supply issues. So there are how many pages of goodness? 91 pages. They call it a mini catalog, but it is 91 pages. And um, it's great because they've got a table of contents here that shows you where the product suites are. So we have eight suites in this um, catalog and we'll go through them and I'll show them to you but it's nice because if you're looking for something you have a, a handy table of contents here that will show you um, where everything is and I just realized that I am okay there we go I had I had moved the comments away and now I have pulled them back up so I'm just gonna see if I missed anything Janice is saying I love 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 the new catalog can't wait to see what projects arrive in my inbox oh thank you for saying that Janice think you're already on my email list so you will get the goodies um Shirley's moved over to YouTube and Michelle is asking how are you my friend hope your back is feeling better yeah it's been uh it's been quite the few weeks um, I've had some back issues and they kind of flared up in the last couple of days um, to the point where I wasn't even sure I'd, if I'd be able to sit to do my Facebook live but I'm feeling a little better so I'm going to ride the wave and hopefully it'll stay that way so thank you for asking I'm doing um I'm doing all right. Okay, so once you go in, there's a message from our CEO. It's Q&A with Sarah. Sarah Douglas is the CEO, as many of you know. And then the first couple of pages are really just kind of looking at the kits. So what I'll do is I'll kind of, kind of go through the pages. And if I have samples to show you featuring the products on those pages, I will show them to you. So we'll kind of take little breaks in between. So the first suite that I want to talk about is our Sweet Talk Suite. Um, and you try and say that five times fast, and it's quite the mouthful. In this suite, there are a number of different products. So we've got our stamp set, which is called Sweet Conversations. And then we've got the coordinating dies called Sweet Hearts Dies. There is a gingham embossing folder. 
I might have to show some of these close up. So there is a gingham embossing folder, which is super cute. And then there are these amazing sweet little boxes, iridescent rhinestones, this gorgeous faux linen ribbon. And then we've got a 12 by 12 designer series paper excuse me, called Sweet Talk. Now, this is ob obviously when you look at it, it is intended to be a Valentine's suite, but I always love to show um, versatility of product. So I created, um, I'll show you one of the Valentine projects that I did. This was inspired by a, the box right in the catalog. So just so you get a feel for the size of it, it's very, very easy to assemble. They are like the little sweethearts, um, sweet tarts boxes, I guess. So it's really easy to open. They're quite narrow, so you can't fit kind of anything wide in there, but it would fit a, a pretty good amount of cinnamon hearts or um, conversation hearts, um, all sorts of fun little treats and candies. Jelly beans would fit in there. You could put money, maybe a gift card in here. I'm not quite sure about a gift card, but um, lots of fun little things you could do in there. And then there's this cute little tag and the hearts. So I just recreated this. I used the one in the catalog as my inspiration using the sweet sweet talk sweet okay now i also created a card for a blog hop so as you might know i'm part of the all-star tutorial design team and i um every month we do a blog hop featuring a particular suite so this month our tutorial bundle focuses on the sweet talk suite and we've each done a video tutorial and pdf tutorial um, featuring a project that we made so i can't show you that project however anyone who purchases that tutorial bundle will get the 12 projects for um you know in included um, but i did this project for my blog hop which i was just in love with this is a card using the sweethearts dies and i did sort of an ombre rainbow heart theme i just wanted to use some different colors on it as well as just showcase the the versatility of the dies so you can do this with any colors obviously you could if you have a specific favorite color you could do it all black and white you could do anything that you want and all i did was just cut out the hearts from scraps of cardstock that i had lying around and then i die cut this um the thanks from our amazing thanks dies which i'll show you later in the catalog and i die cut it with the rose gold metallic specialty paper and then there are two dies for the thanks so there's one that is kind of the more detailed word and then there's like an outline that you can put behind it so um i was super i don't know i love how this turned out it's very simple added just a few embellishments and then i matted it on some rose gold uh, metallic paper and i just loved how it turned out and showed that the versatility of that stamp set or sorry of the dies so as we move along you can see the stamp set images close up Okay, I'm gonna have to probably fold just so that um, you can see them. So we've got the stamps here and then it shows the dies a little bit more close up. So you can purchase that whole suite as one with one code. You can get the entire collection. And if you want to just purchase individual items, you can do that as well. So we've got our suite collection code here and then we've got all the individual items there. Um, as we move on to the next page, we have the Love and Happiness Bundle, and I do have a card to show you. This is a card that I received in a swap that I participated in, and this is by Diane um, Evans, okay? So Diane Evans created this card, and it's using Blushing Bride and Very Vanilla. She used the Hybrid Embossing Folder, which also coordinates with the dies here, and um, he had embossed the sentiment in gold. So it's a beautiful card, very, very detailed and intricate, very elegant. And that is using the Love and Happiness Bundle. If you feel like you wanna take screenshots as I go along, feel free to do that. <coughs> um, yeah, go ahead and take screenshots or you can go back and watch the replay just to get the um, samples. So next we have the Gumball Greetings Bundle. And I feel like I had a card featuring this stamp set, but I can't seem to find it, but it's a really cute gumball machine die cut. And then there are these domes that you can fill with these um, frosted beads. So they look like gumballs. And I just think that those are adorable. Um, and so that's a really fun card. And then they have some really fun sentiments. May your day be filled with all the best things. I choose you, like I love puns wishing you the sweetest day ever. And then there's a Valentine um, sentiment there as well. Then when you move over to the other page, we have the nuts and bolts. And this is a card that I received from Rose Coleman. And she's out in, oh my gosh, I think Alberta. 
Um, and so this is featuring the little robot, which she colored a little bit of sponging on the edges and it's on a pink card base. So that is super cute. Are you guys still seeing everything? I'm not seeing any comments. I know you're probably all just watching, but um, if someone could just confirm that you can still see everything okay, that would be great. I just want to make sure everything is still working. Okay, so moving along to flowering fields, we have two bundles. So this is kind of a mega suite. There are two bundles. One is the flowering tulips, and the other is the tulip fields bundle. Okay, so you can purchase each of them individually. Some of you might already have it. The flowering tulips is one that we are actually using for stamp camp. So my partner, Jamie Babarzi, has designed with the flowering tulips and she's done five really gorgeous cards. Um, and I'm designing with a different suite, which I will point out to you later. So here is a card in the um, tulip fields dies. There is a windmill die seeing everything just fine. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to take this card out because I think you'll want to see it. This is by Lori Alexander and she is in Burlington, Ontario. And I just want to show you this really awesome card that she made. So it stands like this. Um, but it's such a great way to showcase the windmill and the designer series paper. So it's a really, really pretty card. It has the new brass butterflies and um, lots of detail and it's very intricate, just a really gorgeous card. So that is using the Tulip Fields bundle. And I don't tend to do a ton of fun fold cards, but I feel like this one would be definitely one you would use to showcase that gorgeous windmill. Okay. So moving along, we again shows you close up the stamp sets and the dies. And then we have the rainbow of happiness bundle. Okay, so this is probably one of my top three in the catalog. And I have quite a few cards to show you. So I'm going to pull those out. This um, this bundle also coordinates with this gorgeous paper that we have in our celebration brochure, which I will just show you quickly. On page eight, we have the sunshine and rainbows paper. You can get this pack of paper for free with a $60 purchase. Okay. And I would say of all of the celebration items, this is the first one I would go with. So if you're having trouble deciding, I would definitely go with this paper first because it's so versatile and colorful. And um, I just feel like you can use it all the time. So I'm going to show you some cards. Some of them will have the designer series paper on them. This is one that I received from Melva Peters and she used the large large rings to, or she used actually the die cut and then did some sponging to create the large arcs of the rainbow and then a little bit of the designer series paper. And then we have this one here. I love the color combination on this. This is by Winona Semler. And um, I love the colors that she chose on here. I love the black background. And then I love the different colors of the rainbow and the black heat embossing. You guys know I love heat embossing. This card here is from one of my downline, Selena. Um, she was also in the swap and she created this gorgeous card with the rainbow. I also really love the color combination. You guys know I love anything with pink. Um, and she used a little bit of the designer series paper in our new honeycomb embossing folder. Um, and then we've got the, actually, I think it's called Hive 3D Embossing Folder, not Honeycomb. This is one I had done a while back, and this is also featuring the Rainbow of Happiness um, bundle. And you can see that one of the sentiments is actually in this arched shape, so you can stamp it right onto the rainbow. And then we have these cards here, which I think I did on Sunday, Coffee in a Card, um, using the designer series paper and just some different patterns and colors. So lots of different possibilities. I loved the layout of this one and um, it's a super, super fun and cute card to make. All right, and then we have the Friends of the Forest bundle. Now this is one that actually, I don't know if any of you got the deer punch from the holiday catalog, but this, actually, this deer here coordinates with the deer punch. And I actually didn't even realize that until mm, two days ago. Um, I must have just missed not looked at this punch up here, but it coordinates really nicely with that stamp. Um, and then there's also this really cute cloud punch. So it gives you some different ideas and samples. I always find the catalog to be a really great source of inspiration. So when I am stuck and trying to decide, you know, what to make, sometimes I will go to the catalog and look for a layout or a color combination that I can um, use as the jumping off point. Okay, so as we move on to the next page, we have another punch bundle. I love the punch bundles because 
you know, they just make your card making so quick and easy. And here is a card that I received from Lena Gursa um, using the Ladybug bundle. And you can see like just all the detail here there. I think she used Wink of Stella on the Ladybug. Um, on the black part and then on the wings she stamped the dots and then used this really cute paper connecting so i hope that everything i hope you can hear it okay um and then we've got the black and white striped uh twine from the playful pets twine combo pack okay um and then we have this stamp set here called wildflower path this is not one that i have yet but I do love the flowers in here and I really love the fonts of the sentiment. So there's a really nice quote here. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail by Ralph Waldo Emerson. I love that quote. So um, really, really great stamp set. Uh, moving on, we then have the symbols of fortune. This is another suite. This has gorgeous paper um, and I love the polished dots, which I'll be using tonight. We've got the mother of pearl paper and then this beautiful shimmer ribbon. Um, and I'll show you a couple of samples here. We've got this one here using the crane and the stamp. And then there's some work done on the background here using the stamps. And then we have this one here, which actually uses some of the designer series paper. And the back is um, embossed. And I love the color combination of soft succulent with the basic black. I'm going to kind of speed things up a little bit because I don't want to be you know, taking up too much of your time tonight. We then have the Paradise Palms bundle. This is one that I think I have, but I haven't used it yet. I love anything with a tropical feel. So um, this is a really gorgeous bundle, which is gonna go really nicely with our, the paper in our trop other tropical suite. So clearly Stampin' Up! knows that many of us need vacations and are dreaming of the tropics and created lots of products featuring tropical suites. And I'll be using one of them tonight. Um, then we have the Bows and Blossoms. This is another punch bundle. So um, again, I think that Stampin' Up! is really catching on that people love the punches. And so this one here has a really cute stamp set, some different images, and then some nice sentiments. And then the punch um, does two different sizes of the bows, okay? Um, then we move into some Easter themed stamp sets. So this one here is called Easter Friends. Sorry, I just realized I'm off the screen. Hello, Rhonda from Arizona. Um, we have the Easter Friends stamp set and there are some really cute fonts in here. Sending warm and happy wishes this spring. May your days blossom with joy and happiness my friend and happy Easter. And what I really love about this is that it's got three different sentiments in here that don't say Easter in them. So you again can use these all, you know, through spring and even summer, you can use the sentiments any time of year. They're really, really cute and simple. Um, Janice is saying the Easter friend stamp set is so sweet and will be on an upcoming order for sure. Okay. Then we have the Garden Greenhouse Bundle. I love this bundle. I don't have it yet because, you know, I had to kind of pace myself and not buy everything I wanted. But I've started to see some cards on Pinterest with this and I love them. They're beautiful. Hello, Denise. Welcome, welcome. Um, so again, always check the samples in there because they'll just give you a really good sense of the different things that you can do with that particular stamp set or bundle. Okay, then we have the flowering rain boots bundle. And this has obviously the rain boots and then it's got lots of fun spring themed images. And then some really cute dyes that will cut out a lot of the images. So anytime you see in the catalog that there's a white outline or a gray outline, that means that the dyes or the punch will actually cut out that image. So there are quite a few here that the dyes will cut out. And then again, I'm a real sucker for good fonts and these fonts are super cute. Um, yeah, the struggle is real. Like we just want it all. I still have a box full of new stuff that I haven't, I have to actually take out my retired stuff, put it in a box to clear space for the new stuff. And I haven't had time to do that yet. We then have the Kite Delight. Um, this is just a stamp set, not just, but it doesn't have a coordinating punch or die set, but it's really cute. Um, and again, I think it would be easy to even fussy cut the images because they are diamonds and kites and just really, really cute. So then we move into one of my favorite suites. 
It's called Artfully Composed. And as I had mentioned, it's a total tropical theme. When Jamie and I were deciding what to do for Stamp Camp, I just knew that we needed to include this suite as part of our Stamp Camp creations. So I was able to design some cards. In fact, I've probably done the most designing with this suite than anything else in the catalog. So I've made all sorts of cards and calendars and things like that with this suite. So within the suite, again, you can order the whole collection with just one code. Um, but then within the suite, we also have the bundle. We have this gorgeous white frayed ribbon, which I think is currently not available. These things are selling out really fast. We have the faux sea glass shapes, um, the vellum, and then we've got the designer series paper. So let me show you a bunch of samples using this suite. So this is one that I had demonstrated on a Facebook Live. It might even have been last week using the this designer series paper and the stamp set. And I just created a cute little mini tear off calendar. Um, and then we have this one here when I was just playing around with layouts and um, created this one here on the pale papaya. I love the, the, car, the designer series paper on the pale papaya. So hopefully you can see that, okay. And then we have this one here, which I created um, for a card swap with my team. It's or something very similar to it. Um, and I die cut the leaf and I used black for the leaf and the border. And I just loved the way it popped on this card. So I'm trying to hold it a bit close so you can hopefully see it. Um, and then we have this one. So you can see it's a, it's a similar layout, but two different um, colors as sort of the you know, for the border and as well for the sentiment. And I use two different sentiments. I love the happiest birthday wishes here. I love the font. And I think we just can't get enough birthday cards. And then this one here I had created for another swap. And I used um, the Hive 3D embossing folder and created what I think is a fun layout of a card, just showcasing some of the different products in the suite. So that is the Artfully Composed. And um, you can again see it on the back here. Uh, you can see the stamps close up. So the stamp set has eight cling stamps. So we've got some of the images here and then the sentiments, which look like they're like in a handwritten font, which is just super cool. Um, and then we have here the Dahlia Days bundle. And this one is a, it doesn't have coordinating designer series paper, but I love anything with flowers. And again, the fonts just got me. Thank you for your kindness to an amazing woman. You are beyond incredible. Um, you can kind of start to think about some of the people that might enjoy receiving a card with those sentiments. So then we have the flowing flowers and I do have a card to show you with this suite. Um, uh, this one here is using the Pattern Party Designer Series paper. And this was done by Leanne. I don't know if it's Binder or Binder, um, but she is, I'm not sure where she's located, but she's in Canada. And she created this card for our swap and just used a lot of fun little details like this border. Um, I love the black and white on the red. I think that's just super fun. Um, then we have the Daffodil Daydream Bundle, and this is a, a bundle, but there is also a coordinating paper. You don't need one to use the other, but just, you know, because we're on the topic of daffodils, the um, Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper is one that you can actually get for free. So let's say you wanted to get this bundle. The bundle is $75.50. You're going to get to choose an item for free, and you could choose the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper. So you just have kind of a, a coordinated um, selection of products to be able to create with. So that is the Daffodil Afternoon. And then we have the Seize the Day. This is another dye bundle and has a really cute um, dye here that creates just sort of like an opening here. And you can die cut some of the jellyfish and the fish and the octopus and display them inside. So it just creates a cool scene. Um, you can also do just simpler cards, little note cards with it. You can put them in our acetate boxes really really cute um this one here is called ocean front so given the stamps that we just looked at this would coordinate really nicely to be able to create a scene there so you can see how they've done that on this page here okay so are you guys see like do you find i it's every time i go through the catalog i'm like wait i missed that so i this stamp set here i really didn't take a good look at but look at how nicely that would go with the seize the day i did buy this bundle but not this one Hello, Jamie. Thank you for joining. 
Okay, so this stamp set here, Amazing Silhouettes, was one that we actually got as a gift um, during Stampin' Up's last onstage event. And we got the stamp set and I was like, okay, that's cute, but I haven't used it yet. And then when we were able to purchase the dies, I was kind of like, ooh, I kind of really like those dies. So I had shown you the card that I did for the blog hop with the thanks that is from this die set called amazing thanks dies. Okay. So you can just see how nicely it coordinates with the stamps in the stamp set, but you can also use it with anything else. So the dies are super versatile. Even if you don't think you want the stamp set, I feel like the dies are a must have. So um, really, really pretty. And I will definitely be giving those dies lots of love. And then we have the Eden's Garden. Now this is one that was re released early as an exclusive kind of early release product suite. So it may look familiar to some of you, but I always find when you see it in a new catalog with different products, it just kind of has a whole, takes on a whole new life of its own. So I love how it's paired here with some of these other designer series papers and colors. Um, the paper that had sort of, come, that had come out with it was sort of like a moody, dark green, um beautiful paper but just gives it a totally different feel then we have the new horizons bundle or suite i should say so this includes again a collection of products um, it has the on the horizon bundle the dies are really cool so sarah and shelly um our ceo and co-founder of stampin up had done some projects using this bundle and i have to say when i had first looked at the catalog i was like mm -hmm. It's nice, but I don't know that I would, you know, spend a lot of time with it because I had seen so many other things that I loved. But then after they created the project, I was like, ah, I need it now. So really, really pretty. Uh, if you do really like the outdoors, then this definitely is going to um, speak to you. It's just beautiful. All the scenes on the paper. It's just gorgeous. Um, okay so then we have eclectic garden and this one i don't know they just like hit hit it out of the park with the fonts in all the stamp sets like i just i would buy this stamp set just for the fonts not that i don't love the images but like ah it's so cute i wish i could write like that <laughs> so here we go lots of fun little images and sentiments then we move into background stamps this is the gentle waves stamp and i feel like I have a card to show you featuring the gentle waves. So this is done by my friend Alana Wharf, and she's out in Winnipeg, I believe, and had used that die that I showed you just on a couple of pages back using the um, gentle waves and in different colors, heat embossed. It's just beautiful, beautiful card and used. There is a punch, I believe, for this sailboat, which we will see in a few minutes. Um, and then we go... Um, to the soaring swallows bundle so we've got this die set that coordinates with the stamps i don't have any samples to show you for that but i'm sure we'll be seeing them soon we have the grassy grove bundle which is again a really cool nature bundle and look at the dies here like look at this beautiful intricate die here oh my goodness that is just stunning and one that i didn't really pay a lot of attention to when i was flipping through so then we are moving on to, okay, this might be my other favorite suite. I did struggle to decide <laughs> between this and the um, abstract, or was it artfully composed suite? Because it's just gorgeous. So this paper with all the pink and the gold and the black, it just speaks to me. Lots of fun products. It has a very modern abstract feel to it. There are um, note cards and envelopes. We have an ephemera pack. There is gorgeous designer series paper, which is actually four by six, which is unique, I think, to Stampin' Up. That's not something we've done typically. And then there are these really cute um, hexagon, adhes adhesive backed hexagons. So I'm gonna show you some cards. I had done these in a Facebook Live recently, um, just so that you can kind of get a feel. I did the same layout and I did three different cards. So this one here, um, using the black um, blushing, sorry, black, blushing bride white and gold paper and then this one here is using kind of more pastel colors and again same layout different cards but all looking very very different okay so loving this suite i think it is just absolutely gorgeous i can't wait to play with it i might offer a class with it because it's just so so pretty
Um, here's the stamp set on this page. And then we move along to happy and heartfelt. Now this is one that is just all sentiments. There are 15 different stamps, but look at the fonts. Can we take a moment to look at the fonts? And the sentiments are awesome. Like being awesome is just your thing. You guys know I say awesome a lot. So that's totally my thing. Heck yeah, I love you. We have to celebrate this. Yay for love. Lucky me. So sort of like a casual, um, just a really fun sentiments I find. And I always think when you get sent sentiment stamps, they're just so versatile. You can use them with everything. There's one here that says happy mom day, happy dad day. So it's kind of like one of those stamp sets that will cover you across all different occasions. Then we have the um, slim sayings bundle. Now this is a little bit of a higher price point but when you look at the size of the dies and the what you can kind of create with them i can understand why so there are huge sentiments in the stamp set and then there are these gorgeous slim card dies so you can actually create um the die cut for a large slim slim line card i'm having some word finding difficulties now okay this one here is called Best Delivery. This also kind of reminds me of one in our celebration catalog that's called Driving By, just the vehicles and it's just fun. Um, and then we have the Ranunculus Romance Bundle. Now I have to tell you, I actually didn't even see this, um, but one of my team members who's going to be doing a product demonstration for one of my upcoming events had said she was going to demonstrate this. And I was like, what i don't even know what that is so i actually had to go into the catalog to look at it but i love these dies she always makes me want to purchase everything that she demonstrates and so i know i'll end up buying them even if it's just for these gorgeous dies so really beautiful um betty is saying i've ordered the truck set i'm going to paper piece my son-in-law's business car oh i love that oh betty that sounds very creative and very cool this one here is called brag worthy so again lots of sort of fun sentiments your friendship is as brag worthy as a dress with pockets <laughs> i love dresses with pockets so i totally am feeling that sentiment thanks for being the person i overthink things with jamie are you still here <laughs> jamie did a fun reel on instagram about overthinking and so i feel like this might be a card i need to send to you jamie um, okay, so I'm not going to read out all the sentiments, but it's super cool. Definitely worth checking out. This one here, sentimental swirls, lots of fun images and, and um, sentiments. I'm so sorry, but I am going to move a little faster because I realize it's already 9.10 and I want to stamp with you guys a little bit and be done by 9.30. So we've got this one here called In the Moment. This is another one that we got for free from Stampin' Up! as part of our onstage goodie bags. Um, and then we have the Heart and Home Suite Collection. This is, again, a mega suite where we've got two different bundles, um, the Hive Embossing Folder, the Denim Ribbon, Polished Dot, Doilies, Memories, and more cards and envelopes, and gorgeous designer series paper. And I'm going to show you some samples using these um, products. So we've got this one here using the Honey Bee Home Bundle. Um, this one here, I believe, oh, sorry, I should tell you this is made by, this is by Sherry Roth. Um, I love the card. I love the vellum on the background. I love the splatter. It's just such a beautiful card. Sorry, I'll show that to you a bit closer. Um, then we have this one here. This is by Allison Salvin. And this has just lots of beautiful elements on here. On one side of the designer series paper, you've got different colors and patterns. And then on the other side, it's all gray and white wood grain patterns. So really, really pretty. Um, this one here is one I had done in a Facebook Live. Now the stamp set is from our annual catalog, but I use the paper from the Heart and Home designer series paper. Um, this is another one I had done in a Facebook Live and um, just a fun layout and showcased none of the kind of floral images, but I just used the sentiment and the paper and the doilies and the dots. Um, this is another version of that same seasonal blessings one. And then we have the, actually this card is not one of this suite. These are some of the cards we made for our um, stamping portion at our last on stage event, which is just Stampin' Up's virtual conference. So you can see this one here. We did this one there. And then we have this one here. So lots of different possibilities with this suite. I love, I love, love, love the um, Misty Moonlight and White Designer Series paper pattern. It's beautiful. 
Um, okay, so I'm going to move right along through here. We have a couple of stamp sets here every chapter. So if you have readers in your life, people that love to read books, or you yourself love to read books, um, this is a really nice sentiment or a nice stamp set that says, I enjoy every chapter of our friendship. So really, really cute um, sentiment. You can see some of the different things that they've done with it. And then the other one says, the world needs more love notes. So love that as well. Then we have the Catch You Later. And this is one that I have a card to show you. And this is by Jen Tinline. I believe she is in uh, Kingston, Ontario. And this is using some of our Pattern Party DSP and she's colored in the cat and the stamp says, you're just perfect. So really cute. I think we are nearing the end. We have this really cute Happy Hedgehogs bundle. Again, coordinating punch. Love it, Stampin' Up, keep doing it. Um, we have the Celebrating You, and this is one that's, again, all sentiments. And then we have some decorative masks. There are six masks. They're called Butterflies and Flowers Layering Decorative Masks. So you can actually mask on the mask. So um, really fun, different things you can do with those decorative masks, which I really don't use enough of in my crafting. I really need to do more using of the decorative masks. Um, this one here is another one that I really love. It's called Cactus Cuties. Again, another punch. I, I feel like this might be the most punches we've had in a mini catalog. Um, but this one here, I love cacti. I love the sentiments, the fonts, everything. It's all really cute and uh, really fun to use. And um, if you like cacti, then you'll definitely want this one. So then we have the um, Lucky You stamp set. And this is all just sentiments, but they're kind of reverse I don't know what the word is. It's like the negative image. So it looks like it's almost embossed on watercolor kind of thing. I don't know what the right word is for that, but <laughs> it's really cute. Okay, calling all baseball fans. If you are a sports fan, then you will love this suite here called Hey Sports Fan. Has kind of a vintage take on some of the... Um, you know, on the baseball theme. And so if you are one that struggles to find sort of masculine products in the catalog, this is definitely one that could work. Um, there's a really cool designer series paper. We've got the stamp set, the coordinating dies. I love this die here that looks like just kind of a giant ticket. Um, and then we've got the stars and the twine. So really good suite for masculine cards. Um, and let me see. We're going to kind of go through the last few pages really quickly. I don't have any more samples to show. And then we will get crafting. So we have this one here, um, the set sail bundle. That's the one I had shown you of Alana's card where she had the sailboat um, punched out. So using the sailboat builder punch. So all of you sailing and boating fans, you might love that. Um, we have wildlife wonder here, which has some different animals and some great sentiments um any gardener fan gardening fans out there i know some of you are so this one here the home and garden bundle i think this actually was maybe one of the first things to go on non-orderable those dyes went so quickly so i don't know if any of you were lucky enough to get them but it's a really cool bundle with lots of fun dyes and um you can make lots of different cards for the gardeners in your life and then we move on to brave vikings um lots of well it's just got some cute images and sentiments this is one that i like just adore so the for the record um i used to my dad used to collect records when i was younger and then when i kind of got a bit older and started making money of my own i started collecting cds so i like this massive cd collection which my husband always laughs at me about he's like really like we don't even have a cd player in the house anymore but i love music and so this really um spoke to me and i think the card samples are really really cute um then we just have the page where they show you the products that are returning from our last holiday catalog and then we've got the index at the back so i'm not going to show you all of that because some of you are probably like hey when is she going to get crafting so i am going to show you what i'm going to be playing with here and like I said, if you're not already on my email mailing list, you may want to get on there if you want to receive free tutorials each week. So every week I'm gonna be sharing a new project featuring a different product in our celebration brochure. Um, this week we are featuring Island Vibes. And this is a stamp set that, um, let me just show you. So it is a 
uh, cling stamp set. Now, when I looked at it, I thought there's only three stamps in here. Um, it kind of like puzzled me because usually our celebration stamps have more than three, but it is a distinctive stamp, meaning it has that sort of photorealistic look to it. And um, it's the images are just really quite detailed when you look at them. And this one here is actually quite large. So I'm going to show you a couple of cards and one of them, like I said, you'll be getting a tutorial for if you are on my mailing list. So the first card that I wanted to show you is a really simple card here that I did using this corner stamp here. So what I did was I stamped it in just jade onto a basic white rectangle and then I ran it through my cut and emboss machine using a stitched rectangle die to just make sure that there was sort of no white space showing on the on the outside of it. And then I just used the die from the Amazing Thanks dies and I just die cut that in gold and mounted it onto a basic white thick card base. All right, so I am going to show you another card and this is the one that I'm going to be making. So this card here is using a different image in the stamp set. So it's a really simple card. Um, the image itself is quite small. And then I used the sentiment from the Cactus Cuties. Now this stamp set doesn't have sentiments with it. So you can pair it with anything else that you might have on hand. So let's get started. I'm just going to kind of turn this so that it's straight hopefully you can still see everything um, and then like i said i'm going to be sharing one more card in my email tomorrow with a tutorial um, and i'll share photos of these ones as well so i am starting with a basic white thick card base and i'm just going to burnish that with my bone folder and then I used a piece of designer series paper. This is from the Artfully Composed, so that tropical suite that I had shown you. You can see on the other side here that it's got the um, leaves on it on the back of it. But I'm using this just jade and white diagonal striped piece. Okay. And I'm just going to stick this down onto my um, just jade card cardstock layer, which is just a little bit larger than the designer series paper. Okay, so we've got that. And then while I have it out, I'm just going to use my stamp and steel, the stamp and seal to stick it down onto the card. Okay, so we've got that there. And now let's work with our um, our image here, okay? So what I forgot to do is grab a piece of grid paper. I'm going to just pull this here because I want to use my blending brush to just add a little bit of pool party ink. So hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to grab my pool party ink and I've just got, so I've got a um, gray granite stitch, scallop stitched rectangle. This is from our Stitch So Sweetly dies. You don't have to do that. You could even just use a slightly larger rectangle of the gray granite paper or you could just avoid it altogether. And I'm just taking my blending brush and I'm just going to take some of the ink off. Hello Shelly, thank you for joining. We just actually did a catalog walkthrough so I feel like you probably have seen a lot of the catalog. I did show some samples so you can always go back and watch the replay and uh, let me know what you think. But you're just in time for the actual card making. So I just wanted to create a little bit of, um, you know, a colored background just so that it's not so stark. And I'm going to take, I'm going to take my basic black stamp and write marker. You know what? I'm actually going to get a tissue because I kept getting black ink on my hands when I was doing this earlier because I think I've been doing this so much that it's all over the cap. Okay. So I'm just going to take the brush and just create a little bit of splatter onto that um, white rectangle, okay? Um, all right, so here we go. I'm just gonna stick this down onto this layer here. And just set that aside. So I just cut this um, piece of basic white cardstock just a little bit smaller than the border okay so i just kind of measured the board the stitched border on this die just to get a feel for what size i wanted to do the white cardstock then i'm going to take my 
um, oh, I do need my Just Jade ink. So I'm taking my image here from the Island Vibes and I'm just gonna stamp the leaves. I don't actually wanna stamp the pot for it. So I'm just gonna kind of go about yay high. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it to go about as far as the base of the plant. And then just make sure you've got ink all over it. And then just go ahead and stamp that. Even if you get a little bit of ink on the pot or the bowl, that's okay because we're gonna cover it with um, one that I have actually heat embossed. So I heat emboss this little bowl and then die cut it, or sorry, fussy cut it. And now I'm just gonna grab my mini dimensionals here and just set that down. This is a little lower than I think I did on my first card, but I think it should be okay. There we go. Okay, so that is going to get put on a little bit later. I'm gonna heat emboss my sentiment. So I'm going to use the sentiment that says just a note. Um, and this is from the Cactus Cuties stamp set. So I've just got the sentiment here that says just a note. And you guys know I love heat embossing. So I'm heat embossing onto the gray granite cardstock. That looks all right. And just gonna pour a little bit of white embossing powder onto where I've stamped. Okay. There we go. Are you guys still with me? Everyone's okay hanging in there? Have I put anybody to sleep yet? I certainly hope not. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly heat emboss this and then I promise we are almost done. I was aiming for 9.30 and I think we might hit it. Okay, so that's that. I'm actually going to use my scissors to cut this because I kind of um, he I kind of stamp this on a bit of an angle, and I want to kind of even that out. I don't want it to be too crooked. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's handmade. Okay, this part I am going to use my trimmer for. I think I may actually have put the, and when I met, went to put the stamp on my actual block, I feel like I may have just done that in a slanted way. It looks kind of weird to me, actually. I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to do this again. I think it's my fault because I put, it's not the stamp's fault. It's my fault. I put it on the wrong way. There we go. Okay. I think that's a little better. Let's try it once more. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I know I just said it doesn't have to be perfect and now I'm redoing it. So talk about contradicting yourself. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's try this one more time. I think it's a little better, we'll see. We're just going with it, no matter what it turns out like. So here we go. I think it's a little better. Part two. There we go. And let's try this again. I always forget you guys, you can see all my facial expressions now. So if I roll my eyes at myself or anything, you're seeing it all. 
<laughs> okay. There we go. And there we go. All right. Let's see if I have any normal size dimensionals. I don't think I do. We'll use the edge of these. So I've just got my minis here, but I'm just going to cut them. Cut the border. And we will stick this down onto our card. We are almost done. Promise. I kept this super simple because I knew we were going to spend some time going through the catalog. So I didn't want to make an overly complicated card that would take too long. So there we go. We have the card here. And then the last thing I'm going to do, which one do I like better? They both look a bit wonky. <laughs> I can't even decide. I don't even know which one I did first and which one I did second. Well, it's going to have a fun, playful vibe to it. So let's see. I'm really bust by this. Hold on. Okay. Salvaged, I think. I think I ended up using my first one, to be honest. I don't know. Okay, so we are just going to finish off with some ribbon. This is a new ribbon pack. It's a combo pack. So we've got um, Petal Pink and Misty Moonlight. It's a gorgeous color combo. All right. <laughs> I have like embossing powder all over my grid paper here. So now it's all over my fingers. There we go. Okay. There we go. Almost done, friends. We are just putting on the finishing touches. Now, when I go to stick this down, some of it will actually be sitting over my um, piece here. What did I do with my original? Yeah, I think I stamped it a little low. So we're just going to do this. So I'm only going to put the dimensional behind the T and the E here. Um, and in fact, I'm going to use a mini. And then I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive here because I want this to stick to the layer with the, that has the plant on it. Okay, so this kind of just makes sure that it's going to stay even. And then you can kind of fuss with your ribbon a little bit. What do you think of this color combination? I don't normally pair um, petal pink with just jade, but I kind of, I kind of am feeling it. I do like it. And then I'm just going to add some of the polished dots. Thank you, Sonia. I'm glad that you like it. And so this has both um, the pink and the clear. Now, when you go to put the dots onto the card, it's kind of hard to see the pink because the, you know, obviously the, the green kind of overpowers it, but it's still really cute, I think. I think it's cute. Okay. Whoops. All right. So there you have it. That is a card using the Island Vibes. And I showed you this one here. And then there will be one in your email tomorrow with a tutorial. And I'll share photos of these ones as well. So tell me what you think of the card. Hello, Natalie. Oh, I'm glad that you like it. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I'm glad you guys like it. I was sort of like playing around. I'm like, is this a weird combo or is it a good combo? I think I like it. It's a bit unusual for me, but I do quite like the way it turned out. I like pink with anything. You guys know that. So those are the cards. I want to um, thank you so much for joining me. Let me flip this now. Look at the mess I've created on my desk here. I'll let you look at that for another second. <laughs> okay, let me read some of the comments. So Sonia's saying, I love the color combo. Shelly says, I love that combo. Perfect for spring. Thank you so much, Margaret Ann, Natalie. Keisha saying she can't wait to watch the replay. Okay, awesome. Let me know what you think. I shared a lot of card samples using stuff from the new um, catalog. 
So hopefully you'll enjoy some of those. And yes, I actually do really like it with the gray frame. That's one thing I forgot to point out. On my first one, I just stamped straight onto a white um, scalloped rectangle. And then I did feel like it kind of needed a little bit more width. So then I went with the um, gray granite. So I do actually like how that turned out for sure. Hello, Bobby. And Denise is calling me an enabler saying, I didn't order that set yet. Well, you know what, Denise, consider yourself convinced because I it's honestly like that was one that I was like I could rather play with the rainbow paper and stuff but I once I started playing with it I couldn't stop so it's really fun and um, definitely has a tropical vibe to it and I think we're all kind of feeling like we could really use a vacation so sorry about this shadow I will kind of continue to play around with um, the whole StreamYard software and hopefully we will get it figured out but uh, I do like being able to see all the comments and hopefully you enjoy being able to see both views so thank you so much for joining me everybody I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your week stay safe stay happy make sure you make time for the things that you love um, and just uh, keep on crafting and I will see you back here on Sunday morning for coffee and a card Facebook live and have a great week bye everybody